Hi there, my name is Anais and I'm a solutions architect here at DBT Labs. And today we're going to cover how to set up Snowflake permissions and databases in order to use DBT Cloud successfully. Please note this video is meant for DBT Cloud and Snowflake administrators. So if you're not an admin, this video is not for you. All right, step one, let's log in. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Sandbox account. And because this is just a Sandbox account, I'm using username and password, but you may need to go through your SSO in order to log in. Step two is ensuring we have the right role in order to create new roles and grant privileges. This role that we need to have access to is account admin. I can check that I have this role, but it should be right underneath my name. I can also switch roles to make sure that I have access to the account admin role. If for some reason you do not see this role underneath your name or that you have permissions to this role, please work with your Snowflake administrator in order to make sure you get access to this. The next thing I want to think through is where will the raw data be loaded and where do I want to store the transformed data? We often see that teams will load their raw data into a specific Snowflake database using a tool like Fivetrain and Stitch and then build their models in a different database. For this walkthrough, we will assume the raw data has been loaded into Snowflake sample data, and we want to store our transform data in a database called Analytics. I can see here that I have some sample data loaded in. I'll pretend this is real data for the sake of the demo, but let's keep the database Snowflake sample data in mind. Now, the other thing we want to think through is where our transform data is going to go, and we said that was going to be in a database called Analytics, which I don't actually see here. So let's go ahead and create that. I have this worksheet here that I'm just calling admin worksheet where I'm gonna run all my admin commands. The first one I'm gonna run is to create database analytics. All right, since you created this database under the account admin role, this role will already have access to the database. Now that we have identified the database that we want to use, let's turn our focus to the Snowflake warehouse that we want to use for transformations by DBT. There are a handful of warehouses in Snowflakes by default. We recommend a dedicated warehouse for DBT development. In this case, I'm gonna create a Snowflake warehouse called transforming that has a size of medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this quick command that I'm gonna copy over. Now we have identified the database and warehouse that our DBT developers will use. We've created the database analytics and we've created the warehouse transforming. Next, we will set up a role for the DBT developers to access these objects. You can determine your own name for this role. We recommend calling the name transformer and we use this internally. Let's create the role first. So we're gonna create the role transformer. Now that we've created the role transformer, we want this role to be able to read but not modify anything in the Snowflake sample database. Therefore, we want to grant usage on the Snowflake sample data database, as well as the schema of interest and all tables within that schema. So we're gonna go ahead and run these three commands. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That covers selecting from raw data. Now let's grant access to build into the analytics schema. We run the following grant commands to grant permissions on the analytics database. I'm going to go ahead and copy these over. And I'm going to go ahead and run those. Amazing. That covers the database permissions that we need. Let's grant, let's grant access to the Snowflake warehouse that we set up earlier. I'm going to run two more grant statements. Awesome. Let's recap. We now have the role transformer for all DBT developers. This role has access to read from Snowflake sample data and to write to analytics. This role also has access to the transforming warehouse. Our final few steps will be to grant this role to ourselves and any developers that we know will be using DBT in the future. All right, let's start by granting this role to myself. I'm going to now run this command so that I have transformer access. Amazing. If we are aware of other developers that will need access, let's grant this role to them as well. I'm gonna make a separate user 
refer myself to exclusively use as a GBT developer or analyst. I'll be sure to use this instead of the admin account that I'm working in right now. All righty, so I'm going to grant the role to another developer. Awesome. There we go. We now have access to this role in Snowflake and any other users that we have granted that role to. Let's go one step further and create a service user account. This will be helpful for when we create jobs in DBT Cloud. So I'm just going to copy a few more statements here. Fantastic. Let's do a quick test to make sure that I have my permissions correct here. Let's toggle into the transformer role. Alrighty, so we, it looks like everything is working. Let's do a quick test to make sure that I have my permissions correct. So let's go back to that main screen. And instead of being account admin, let's switch over to the transformer role. And now I'm gonna just create a new worksheet. And let's make sure uh, we can use the warehouse transforming. So I'm going to say use awesome. And now let's make sure that I can select from the raw data. Awesome. Command one down. Let's test another one. We're going to select star from our Snowflake sample data set. So I have the worst memory and I can't remember what the names of these schemas are. So we're gonna look at the databases here. Select star from snowflake dot tpch. And let's look at the customer table. So a few more commands we gotta test out. The next one, let's make sure that we can create or replace a schema. So I'm going to create or replace Schema dbg underscore my first initial last name. Great. All right. Next, we're going to make sure that we can create a table. So we're going to go ahead and create table dot dbt my last name dot customer as select star from our sample data set. SF1 customer. Awesome. All right. So it looks like most of our statements have worked as expected. The last thing we want to do is just drop the table that we just created as well as the schema so we keep everything nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the schema. Spelling is important, y'all. And we're done. Alrighty, that is everything that we have to cover today. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.